Hey guys, uh, here's another quick video. This one is going to just cover a few more uh, tips and tricks, I guess, for uh, the PCB part for laying out your components. Um, and uh, it's also going to cover how to do uh, vias. And a via is basically when you have a track on the top layer that connects to the bottom layer. So that we're going to do some vias, and then I'm also going to show you, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to put components on the other side of the board. So oftentimes when you're create, designing a Eurorack module, you'll have uh, the power and the capacitors on the back side of the board uh, because that's where you want them to connect and they best fit the design that way. So let's see how we can do that. So I did change the background color to gray. Hopefully it makes it maybe a little easier to see. I don't know. Give me some feedback if you think it's better this way. Um, let me delete these last traces here. Um, so we want to move this guy to the back of the board. So what you do is you highlight the board and then we go up to here to layer. And there's only two choices because this is a two, two layer board. And we're going to move it to the bottom layer. Now you'll notice that the trace is flipped, right? Because we just flipped it around on the back. You also notice that this text is now backwards because it's on the other side of the board. So if we want to, we can rotate this board. I mean, sorry. You can rotate the, the IDC connector uh, so that it's back to this way, so it lines up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put these guys in the back too. So I'll change that layer to the bottom layer. And I'll rotate it twice to get it lined up. And I'll move this guy to the back layer, bottom layer, excuse me and rotate it twice. So now if we do a 3D view of this panel it'll put all the components on there but look we got all this stuff on the front side of the panel and there's our jack on the back side. Now for this design it doesn't make any sense because um, this design is has these right angle mount um, jacks so you would want everything to be on the same side. So I'm only doing this as an example so you know how to do it. Um, but if you do have a, a board where you have uh, Thonkicon type jacks going straight up and you wanted to put your power supply on the back of the board, that's how you do it. Alright, so now we've done that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about vias. Um, let's go ahead and go to the top layer. And I'm going to run a trace right here. A track. And we'll just go straight across like that, right? Now, imagine that I need to get um, this trace here over to here, over on the other side of this one, but I can't go this way. Let's let's just imagine that it has to go past this trace, right? And it has to be has to start out on the um, the top layer. So let's go ahead and run this around. We're going to go underneath this resistor here and we're going to butt up against it right so we can't go any further here so that's this is the case where we're going to use a via so I'm going to stop the track right there right click to stop uh, laying the track okay and now we want to put a via so we go to this button right here via you can also press the V key now you're going to put a via here and then you can either put a via on the other side now or we can do that next. I'll show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to switch to the bottom layer. So right now the signal was traveling along the top layer and then now we're going to go to wire and we're gonna, now we're continuing the signal on the bottom layer. So it just jumped to the bottom side of the board. That's why I can go past this layer one track. Now let's say for some reason we want to go back to that first layer. I'm going to stop that track, get another via, put it here. Oh, I messed it up. Hit the escape key. Let's delete that one. Remember, if you get that X, that means something's not right. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and get it right on the end of that one. And it, and it did it right. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the top layer. And I'll go there. And that completes it. So that's one way of routing signals from one layer to the other and then back to that first layer. Now, there's different strategies when you're designing PCBs uh, that kind of help with doing this kind of stuff and the one strategy is to not always to not put two um, traces too close to each other on the different layers so let me give you a quick example let's see um, how can I do this 
Now yeah, let's do it like let's see. This one goes here, so let me go ahead and run. Alright, and then let's say for example I switch to the bottom layer here and I run this one right there. I gotta fix my snap in here so I can get between there. So remember to change our snap, we go to right click on the background, canvas attributes, and I'll change that to 0 .005. And then now, another thing you can do is you can drag traces, tracks like that, and then I can go back to routing it. And what I'm trying to show here, I didn't do the best job, but let me give you a good, let me give you a little bit better example here. Uh, yeah, so this one, imagine if you put it right here. All right, so the problem with that is you have the two tracks on different layers, right? So let's say down the road you're trying to get uh, from one end, of, you're trying to go across this tracks with another one. If I start on the top layer, for example, and I come down here, or actually I'm on the bottom layer, and I come here, I'm going to hit that. Wait, what happened? I lost my track. That was strange. Oh, I see. I hid. I accidentally hid the hid the trace. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, always fun, right? So. Let me uh, fix this one the way I had it. And I'm just trying to illustrate a point here. Sort of a something that could catch you out. Now if I'm on the top layer and I want to go across here, what can I do, right? I can't go over this one because I can't I can put a via here, right? Well that's too close. If you get the X, that means you don't have enough clearance. I can pull it away. Um, but if I change to that bottom layer, now I can only go that far, right? Now, in this specific instance, I could come down here, right? And I can make another via, and I can go back to that other side. Alright, I thought I switched to layer 2, layer 1, I mean, the top layer. And now I got a cross. But if this wire went all the way down here, then I was basically would not be able to do that. So one strategy is to not put two layers going the same direction too close to each other. Always leave that room so that you have room for a via in between them. Another strategy would be to run mostly uh, the stuff on your top layer to try to go vertical and then go horizontal with stuff on the, on the bottom layer. And different things like that can be a good strategy uh, for routing your tracks uh, when you're working on your printed circuit boards. Oh well, anyways, I uh, hope you like these just couple of tips uh, to get you going on your Eurorack PCB design um, road. And uh, please do give me some feedback, and thanks for your time.